Focus on Ag is brought to you by Terry County Tractor. Welcome back. As planting season gets underway for cotton farmers in our area, there is a lot of uncertainty about what lies ahead. KCBD News Channel 11's Parker Schaffner explains in this week's Focus on Ag. We can weather maybe a year, maybe two, but third and fourth gets really, really problematic. Cody Bessent, CEO of Plains Cotton Growers, says the last couple of years have created a lot of strain in financial duress for not only producers, but the industry as a whole. That's why he believes it's imperative for drought-stricken farmers to have a good crop this year. Well, we've lost money the last couple of years. If we can gain it back the next couple, then we'll continue to maintain a good stream of business. Um, if not, then we're going to see a lot of people really go out of business that we haven't seen yet. The lack of rain has not only been hard on young farmers who are just starting, but the veterans as well. Um, younger farmers, it's a lot harder to kind of segue and to get into the industry. And a lot of the capital that they don't necessarily have is not there. Older farmers have exacerbated a lot of their uh, built up capital and wealth. In addition to having a good crop, Besson says our producers need a new farm bill, not short term extensions like the one we are currently underneath. We've, we've certainly been working very aggressively to make some improvements to better address where cost of production is at today. Um, that will help provide some of a more certain safety net for the producer-based segment. To add to the uncertainty, the USDA is discontinuing its cotton objective yield survey citing budget constraints. Without it, Besson believes we could see more market volatility, which in turn could impact our producers. Um, if we don't have that, then we've lost a lot of data that has used, been used for forecasting. So that creates a lot of gyrations in the marketplace, a lot of lack of, of certainty where people can lock in prices, look at marketing capabilities, look at warehousing and storage down line. Despite all the uncertainty, Bessent remains hopeful. He says our cotton producers are setting off a good pace this growing season. If we have a good year, then we'll see more to an average to above average year. Um, people will start to put back into their uh, financial savings. They'll be able to um, uh, pay off some of their financial debt that has been accumulated the last couple of years and then allows them some more opportunities to uh, either invest in, in, in different avenues that they traditionally have been able to do in the past and that helps the economy grow from a natural standpoint. For this week's Focus on Ag, I'm Parker Schaffner.